Hey guys, Spartan Prepper. So, update. We're at three and a half. <laughs> it's halfway, more than halfway through the day, but got to see some local news, some national news. Shit's getting crazy. Everything's sh shutting down. They're limiting. California just passed. They're urging people. It's not an order yet. Seven, everybody in San Francisco, whatever. They're telling them to stay home from school, work, wherever. Stay in your homes. So they're rolling the curfew stuff out. Yes, that's a mask. Listen, I'm walking up to the local grocery store. My wife is eight and a half months pregnant. She's about to have a baby the middle of next month. Right in the worst possible time. She's worried about this big time. She's got an improvised immune system. She gets sick very easily, so she's wanting me to put the little mask on when I go get some stuff at the store. Um, the stock market had its worst day in history today, closing down 3,000 points. That's insane. Never happened. Never happened. Everything's closing, okay? They limited <laughs> the social gathering things from 50 to 10 now. That... That's a lot of places. That's it, nothing is open. I'm telling you, they're going to implement this mandatory. Our state governor declared a state of emergency here in Michigan. Now she has the power to do whatever she wants. She can order us to stay inside or we'll be fine. They can turn our electric off. Oh, speaking of that, she also, thank you governor. This is a good thing here. Uh put a pause on rent mortgages all utilities everything don't worry about paying your bills right now no one's gonna shut your shit off everybody's in hardship blah 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 blah. but they're putting dates on everything still you know because people don't want to hear indefinitely until the shit calms down you know that's scary oh god what do you mean indefinitely so they put a date on it. Oh, April 6th, we'll get back to school. Oh, April 14th, we'll do this. April 20th, and we'll be back to normal. They don't know that. Almost 7 p.m. Monday, March 16th. Three and a half days past our pandemic national emergency declaration. Like I said, we'll see what happens in a few days, in the coming weeks. I mean, this. Do I want to wear this mask? No. Am I going to wear it when I go in there? Yeah. I saw a lot of fucking old people in there. Just like the president was saying earlier, too. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, and I have some <coughs> kind of a cough. I don't know if you've heard of my videos. Just sniffling and <coughs> clearing my throat. Who knows? I'll keep you guys updated. Um. He said, you know, younger people will not know they have it and just carry it. But you go to the store where you're not supposed to be and you bump into, you know, Miss Wilson, the 87-year-old grandma from down the road and pass it on to her. She's going to die from it. It's too much for her immune system. And I just heard, right before I left, the Corona Task Force lady that's behind the president when he's doing his speech was on the news talking about... This virus spreads, is three times more contagious than the, the common flu virus. I've never heard that yet. That's new. Since when? <laughs> now, they're ramping it up. They're like, oh, it's contagious. Yeah, I agree, you wear a mask. Now it's three times more contagious than the flu. Since when? Since yesterday? I have never, since this has been going on, for the few, few weeks, months, whatever, I have not heard one stat saying that this is three times more contagious than the flu. Come on now. All right. I'm getting to my store. I'm going to put my mask on. See how we're looking. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay updated. Day four tomorrow. All right, I'm ready to go in the store. I don't know. They're saying there's over a thousand cases probably in this state that we don't know about right now. So, why? Why? You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see. Thanks.
Spartan Prepper reporting live from Ground Zero of the Contagion in the United States of America. It's March 2020. Everyone's dead. It's all zombies roaming the world. Luckily, I was immune. <laughs> I just came out of the grocery store. So, there was a lot of people still in there. A whole lot of people. I mean, and the looks you get when you're wearing one of these fucking masks in the goddamn store is unbelievable. Oh my god. Yeah, it's called social distancing is what they're calling it on TV. People still going to the store though. I'm telling you, after, like today, after 6 o'clock, and we hear from the president, we hear from our governors, we hear from the new. The news telling us what we need to know, what to do. That's when all hell starts breaking. You know? They're shutting down California. They're already telling people, we recommend you stay home. We recommend that 7 million people stay home. Okay. I was trying to tell her, and that's the one thing we're really worried about is because they're being pregnant. This is bad. You know, that's bad. Just pray. That's all we can do. We're stocked up. We're ready. Not worried about any of that. Really not worried about getting sick. I'm worried about having to take her to a hospital that's full of fucking sick people when she's about to deliver a baby. And I'm not, I don't want to have to choose between who lives. No. Not, no. Nope. We're not talking about that. All right, guys. Day 3.5, Lansing, Michigan. Stores are still packed. Roads are still busy. It's normal. Normal hustle and bustle. Everything's still going down. Look, East China Buffet, they're not slowing down. They still got customers inside. Actually, maybe they're not. <laughs> I don't know. What is this? Oh. oh, it smells good. They're still cooking. I still have to work tomorrow. No sit-down service, but I'm going to go to work tomorrow. So I'll video that. i got to be there at 4.30, which is the perfect time. You know, it's halfway through the day. We'll get you some video of what's going on around town after tonight. I know they like to do things overnight, not tell us about them. Alright, I'm not going to do a bunch of fancy editing on this video. Y'all stay safe. Get your preps up. Pray. Talk to your neighbors. If you're friends with them, try to get a circle of people that you're comfortable with now. Because you may need people in your corner that you didn't think you needed. Try to do that. This is what we've been preparing for. It's not it's still going downhill. So, it's definitely not like any of our other issues we've dealt with in this country in the past 100 years. Since 9-11, I guess. The country was pretty locked down during 9-11 right after that. But nothing, this is worse than, what's happening now is worse than the aftermath of what happened then, I think. I feel personally. On our rights as Americans. Now that affected other people's rights that were in our country that weren't supposed to be here, whatever. whatever. But this is affecting our rights big time. So, alright guys, I'm heading back home. I don't know why. I went and got <laughs> what I needed. I was actually going to do a little exploring. It didn't get dark for about another hour. Um, I know this area fairly well. If the curfew is going to come, it's going to be like it is in other states. Uh, from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. So you're only allowed out, you know, 6 to, 6 to 10. Basically 8 hours a day. Which, uh, whatever, doesn't make much sense. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Click thumbs up. Share this video. Do all you can do. Survive. Spartan Prep out.